All right, guys, next up is the functions check of the uh, Fostec Gen 2 Echo Trigger. Put our with our selector back into the safe mode. For all steps, you're gonna have to move the trigger lock to the forward position. So we're just gonna pull it up in the safe mode, pull the trigger, nothing happens. Fire, trigger locks up, guard the hammer so it doesn't smash your receiver. Pull the trigger, hammer drops, keep the trigger back to make sure. Let go, nothing. Echo mode. Trigger lock forward, pull the trigger, hammer drops, keep the trigger rear, don't pull it anymore. Trigger reset, pull the trigger a little bit more, and you'll see the hammer click there and reset, let go of the trigger. Oops, hammer will release. Recock the trigger, let go of the trigger lock. And that is echo mode and function. All right, after our function test was complete, next up comes mating the upper to the lower, and then we're done. I assume everyone knows how to put their upper onto their lower already, so I skipped that part. The most important thing on how to do this is just gonna put, need to put it in echo mode. Try to get a good camera shot here. And we need to pull the trigger block, trigger lock forward, and hold your trigger back a good amount of pressure and that will give you the amount of clamps that you need to close it. Pin in, then you can let go. And just to show you again, it's on safe, nothing, fire, single hammer drop or recock it just to make sure. Just the reset, echo mode, one hammer drop held back. Second hammer drop left forward. That's it. We'll test her out in a little bit.